Numerous people and media companies are claiming that the United States is more similar to an oligarchy than a democracy, but are these claims valid? Oligarchy, a government ruled by the few. The claim. The claim states that the influence of economic elites and big businesses far drifts that of ordinary citizens. It also points out that this elite is primarily composed of white men in their 70s. The Guardian article that states this claim references a 2014 study by two prominent U.S. political scientists, which concludes America is closer to an oligarchy than a democracy. In addition to this information, the article states other reasons why Americans are discontent with the richest billionaires. Let's analyze the claim. The claim exemplifies the political clout of the elite by showing their economic value and stating how much they donated to political campaigns. Aside from this, the article mentions a side note discussing who this elite is composed of. It is strange that this is added because this mention of demographics is not relevant to the claim that America is closer to an oligarchy. Furthermore, the graphics accompanying with this article suggest the power of this elite. This could lead to subtly coerce the reader into agreeing with the claim. Let's analyze the source. Analyzing the article. According to media bias with fact check, the Guardian is biased less centered. This bias could slightly alter the authenticity of the information presented in the article. To get a more accurate analysis, we must look at the study reference. Analyzing the study. The article making the claim that America is closer to an oligarchy than democracy mentions a study by two prominent political scientists. This study by Martin Gillens and Benjamin Page essentially states that the citizens have little influence over government policies. Although the study makes this claim, it also states that citizens have freedom of speech and free elections. Putting it all together. The study contradicts itself because it states that American citizens have little influence while also stating that citizens vote and have free speech. According to Miriam Webster, the definition of an oligarchy is government ruled by the few. Since citizens vote for who makes government policies, they are making government decisions. Even if they do not directly influence these policies, they have formidable influence over government decisions. Additionally, there are many politicians who cannot be bribed by money. This debunks the theory that the United States is closer to an oligarchy.